Hey, this is why we are back with Beam and G Drive, and we're going to continue about where we left off for the video where we were going down Leap of Death, and we were trying to do it only in one car, and then, well, things went not so good, and we fell off. So we're a little bit behind where we left off in the last video, and we're just going to continue on from where we were before. If you didn't see the last video, I would suggest you watch that one first, so that way, um, you know, if I ever make references to it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but otherwise, you know, basically, if you're like, oh, you, you can't tell me what to do, YBR, I'm, I'm me, you you can't control me, and you're just going to watch this video anyways. Well, the basic idea is we were going down Leap of Death, we were trying to use only one car, the Pepto-Bismol truck, and, well, it was going pretty good until I, I hit a rut in the road, and then I broke my suspension, and instead of stopping like a sane person would, I kept trying to go even though I really couldn't turn the truck, and then we fell off a cliff and we died. And the end. So that is what you missed if you saw the, if you missed the first video. Of course, there was a lot of driving good, actually. A lot of slow and safe driving. And I really kind of sad about the way I lost last time, because it wasn't really me making a mistake uh, and driving bad off the cliff. It was me making a mistake and bumping something and still being okay and on the cliff, but trying to drive with a broken car. That's a bad idea. If your car can't churn, you don't want to go up through this thing, man. If you're, you can't churn, it's not good. It's no butter. You have to churn to be able to make butter. Man, it's always churn, man. People people don't like when I say churn sometimes. It's like, no, it's like, no, it's churn. You in my house, you say churn. My mama said churn. My mama's mama said churn. My daddy said churn. My daddy, daddy said churn. We say churn, okay? You got that? You know, if you ever say turn, you're getting kicked out of this house. I don't care who you are. You know, Obama comes to my house and be like, let me uh, turn this light on. What, would you say, did you just say turn? You're out of here. In fact... I'm going to kick myself out of the house after this video for just saying that. The only time you can ever say say it like that is when you're saying, like, I'm turned up. That's okay. That That's okay. The the rules in YBR's house are unusual. Aren't they? Oh, 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 oh. Great. Wait. We're fine. We are fine. I was too busy thinking about turning, and I got all distracted. But we are okay, actually. We just got to get ourselves out of this hole we're kind of in. And we're okay. We just did a, we just flipped over, but we had like no damage. Like, look at the, the we got like a little dent in the, the hood. I'm like, oh no, that's fine. As long as the car still drives, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy, man. But those are the rules for saying churn, as far as I'm concerned. I don't care if it's wrong. I just don't care. It's the way I say it. Deal with it. So why be our accent? Someday. Everybody will have that accent, or at least a lot of people will, because they see my videos and they'll be like, wait a minute, that's how you're supposed to say it? No, that's how I say it, though. <laughs> and I will make my own accent. Yeah, right. I'll never be that popular. It'd be cool, though. It'd be weird. It'd be really weird. Like, everybody started talking exactly like that, but it's so weird, dude. Because people say I talk weird, and I don't know. I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know. I just talk the way I talk. <laughs> it's like, I, uh, to me, it's not weird. To me, I'm talking normal. People say, you talk weird, YBR. I do? Really? I mean, they're talking to myself like I am right now. I don't do that normally. But, you know, you know, for video's sake. Because I don't have anybody to talk to, so I talk to myself. <laughs> I think I'm insane. Isn't that what insane people do? Yeah, probably. I mean, i got to get my padded room on. You know, get get padded room. Get one of those nice jackets to keep you nice and warm. Live the good life, right? Keeps your arms in a nice straight position. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not go crazy. That'd be nice, you know, stay sane. I just noticed my uh, rear brake light is busted out. Terrible, terrible thoughts. It's up to that brake light. Does it light up anymore? Nope, we broke the bulb as well. Uh, that reminds me of my uh, my father's truck, man. The way its brake lights are is dumb. Uh, what it is is the brake light, the, uh, the sensor that's like, I don't know exactly what's broken about it. So you'll have to excuse me for like using, saying it wrong probably. But basically, the sensor that connects to the brake that turns on the lights is busted somehow so you hit the brakes the brakes work fine but the light doesn't come on so he figured out a way instead of replacing the part because that would i don't know i don't know why but you know instead of replacing the part what he did is he got a door bell from like home depot or lowe's or something i don't know which i think it was lowe's if you want to be particular about it because we usually go to lowe's because it's literally about 100 feet closer to our house than home depot that's the reason we would go to lowe's <laughs> but anyways though um he got a doorbell, and he managed to wire it into the brake light line. So now, the brakes are on a doorbell. So every time, like, I, if I'm in the car with them, and, or in the truck with them, I should say, and they have to hit their brakes or something, 
They're hitting the brakes with their foot, and they're hitting the doorbell as well to show the driver behind them that they are in fact braking. And it was supposed to be fixed eventually, but that doorbell's been there for a couple of years, I think. Maybe a year and a half. So, yeah. So, you know, just, um, I think it's permanent now, basically. It's, it basically became permanent. After just being for so long, it's like, no, it's permanent. It's always going to be like that, and there's nothing you can do about it. That car just has a doorbell for the brakes. Brake lights. Someday I should just replace it for them, and they probably wouldn't even notice. Well, they'll tell them, oh, yeah, by the way, I unplugged that doorbell a few weeks ago. And they'll be mad at me, like, why'd you do that? And I'll be like, oh, because I fixed it for you guys. Because you guys never fixed it, dang brake lights and the thing. Uh, that's funny though. So anyways, we're just driving along. We're doing alright. No problems yet. I'm just taking my time. Not even shifting out of first gear. I might be able to go a little bit faster through here, but you know, I'm, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know? Just take my time. You know, we'll be fine. The problem with last video, I mean, last video was going great as long as I took my time. And I just went a little too fast and that killed me. So, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm saying, okay, let's take your time. You'll be fine as long as you take your time. Plus, this place is deceptive. Like, it looks like it's okay, and then all of a sudden you have a cliff right there you can fall right into if you're going too fast and bump that wrong. So it looks like you're fine, you're fine, and then it's like you could have just fallen off right there if you weren't going careful enough. So I think it pays off right here to be slow. Like, it pays off good to go slow through here. Well, actually, that's basically most of the map. If you make one mistake in 80% of the areas, um, well, you're done. <laughs> you're done. You're not gonna... You're just done for, you know? Well, we're doing alright. Ha I'm happy right now. We're just cruising along. No problems at all. Slow it down. We gotta go nice and careful through here. Don't want no problems. This place... This one looks steep. This is not good. This looks really steep. I have a bad feeling about this right now. I don't know why. I just have a really bad feeling about this. I don't think I mentioned it. Um, by the way, this is actually the same map load as last time. Like, I didn't reload it or anything. Um, I just waited a while, and when I came back, it was pitch black. So I'm like, well, that's no good. So I waited a little longer, and then it was daytime again. So I'm like, yay, it's daytime. We could keep driving. You know, I could have also used the map editor command, or, or used the map editor, I mean, and changed it in there. Hold on, let me take a breath. Ah. <sighs> Did you see the truck right there? It almost just went, flipped forward and fell in that hole. Like, we were literally almost vertical. We were nearly vertical right there. And that would have been terrible. Oh, man. Whew. What was I even saying? Um, lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, what I was saying is the map editor, I could have used the map editor to change the time of day, but I didn't need to because when I came back when it was convenient for me, it was daytime again, like you see now, so I didn't need to. But that was scary. Oh, look at that. See? That's what I'm talking about right there. It's just like a hole in the road. If you tried, like, oh, yeah, this looks smooth. Let me just go 30 miles per hour through it. You're done for here. Oh, goodness. We were almost done for there. If I wasn't just holding the power there, we would have fell. I was just lucky I made the right decision. Like, it was one of those things where it's fight or flight, man, and I ended up choosing fight and just held the gas. And it worked out. Most of the time I've been holding the brake. That was really lucky. I'm pretty sure we would have been screwed if that happened. But everything's going good. We are getting down this thing. Happy, happy times. And I'm going probably a little too fast. I should slow it down. Okay, really? Really? You make it this steep? You make all of that flat? And then we go into something that th th this steep? Are you serious? Like, why couldn't the other part have uh, had some sort of slope to it instead of being so flat? Now we go to this, when you see how steep this thing is? Look at that. Who designed this road? I swear. Worst road ever. I mean, it makes it a good road to drive on. Like, it's challenging. But, oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, truck. Hold on, hold on, no. Hold on, hold on, grab something. No, it's gone, it's done. Nope, that truck is done. Dang. Well, there goes another vehicle. That's the unfortunate news. 
we are going to need three vehicles through here at least. Which is really saddening to say, but what's she going to do? Where do we even fall off? Oh, is it up there? No, oh, somewhere really steep. Where was it? I don't even know where I fell. Oh, right there. So we'll just um, put the truck right here and, uh, well, what's she going to do? I mean, if you got to reset it, you got to reset it. There's nothing you can do about that, really. You just got to do it better the next time. Now, the scary part is, though, is I don't know how to do it better than that one. Like, it's just, this is so steep right here, man. This is insanely steep. I'm afraid we might fall again here. And that'll really suck, you know? This part is not good. Like, I mean, it's, it is extremely difficult when I say it's not good. It's like, it makes me want to cry. So, I'm like, I'm afraid to almost stop at most places because it's so steep. I think what happens is we stop too hard and then we just sort of lost everything we had. See, like, we're breaking here, and you see the back end's lifting up. See, like that, that's not good. We can't have the back end lift up. So we just got to hold the momentum and hope we don't flip like this. And Yeah, we can't break it. It's so steep that if you really try to break, you're going to break so hard. Or if you, I mean, if you break hard enough, you'll end up flipping yourself over because you'll just get the back end will lift up and rotate, and it's like you're done for. This is... This is the worst part of the whole road right here, I'm thinking. Because that, that was like every second of that, my heart was racing. Like, oh, oh, oh. we made it, though. But, oh, my goodness, I don't want to do that section again. No way. That right, looks like I'm supposed to go in this hole. So I'm thinking things are getting worse and worse, possibly. Oh, yeah. Things are getting worse and worse. Um, So we went from a two-car change uh two car one to a three car one that's okay i mean it could have been worse right you can see the sun moving actually if you stopped right here watch no maybe you can't it's not uh late enough in the day it's hard to see it when it's early early in the day but when it's late, when it's late in the day you see the sun the shadows are just racing across the place you know all right that wasn't so bad i guess so maybe it, it's not as bad as i thought This is good, though. We're almost at the bridge, or the dam. We're at the dam, which acts as a bridge in a way, you know? You drive across it. So, you know, it is a dam after all, but I did, I did call it the wrong thing. Poor thing. Sorry. So here we go. We made it there. No problems, of course. I mean, not really of course, but thankfully, really, is what I should be saying. Now we can really go. Look at us go now. Top speed, man. Let's break 100. I want to hit 100 right here, right here. 100. 100. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Like, I just want to be like, oh, look at me. I'm going 100 miles per hour on my, my dam. And then I slam into a wall. In terms of bad ideas, that is up there. If I died because of that, I could get a Darwin Award right there. That was dumb. Thankfully, this road doesn't look that bad. I don't think the truck has been severely damaged where I feel it driving it right now. It feels the same as before. I was just being dumb. And I dented it. Just dented it, though. The suspension feels... Like it still drives straight. That's what's important. Both wheels still churn, and it both it still goes straight. We can, we can make it. We can do this. It's okay, man. We can do this. You know, this road almost looks like it's more treacherous than just driving along the, the random mountainside right there, doesn't it? Like this thing has like a slope on the edge, while the other side looks all flat for miles. Well, you know, not miles, but it has like 30 feet of just fairly even ground. And I'm speeding through here a little bit more than I probably should. It's probably going to catch me off guard and flip me over if I do that. Like this? Yes, yes. See, right there. If I was going a little bit faster, done. We're done. We would need another car, probably. It wouldn't be from damage. It would just be because we flipped over at a stupidly slow speed. So I don't want that. Mm -mm. I want to make it on this truck. I want this to be the last truck. We're so far... And so close. It'd be stupid if I actually managed to ruin this truck. Is that the, uh, is it loop around and that's where I was supposed to go down actually? Let me check real quick. Don't you roll away. 
stay. Let me uh, check real quick with the camera. No, that wasn't a path. I just wanted to make sure. The path is... Yeah, I see the path. We're good. Back on the truck. I wonder if we put regular manual on, that would work better. Because I noticed with the other... No, see, the car still rolls forward with, the, with it in gear. I was wondering if I had nothing clicked, or, you know... It, Maybe the, I guess the one with the manual with clutch would be better. But if I have nothing clicked and I have the parking brake on, it makes sense for the manual with clutch to say clutch in so we don't just roll along, you know? But oh well. It doesn't do that. It's not the way it's designed. I don't really know what the manual with clutch really does because I never really feel like I need to use the clutch when I shift even when I use the normal manual in this game. You know? We're almost there, man. We're here. Almost there. So, I think it's time to start celebrating, man. Took three cars, unfortunately, but, you know, that's not terrible. One of them was actually me making a mistake and falling. The other one was a mistake where you would have survived if you didn't try to keep going. So only one person died in the making of this video, technically. Or one car, one driver, whatever. The other one died for me being selfish. So that is the end for this this little little mini series of uh, going down leap of death. Now we could go up leap of death as well if you guys would want to see that. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys and uh, leave comments if you'd want it or not. And if uh, enough people want me to go up it as well, we could go up it as well. And until next time, then this has been YBR with the Pepto Bismol truck serving me pretty well, man. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'll see you, man.